Jeremy Howell here, Basement Bodybuilding. How you doing? Now I've been gone for a minute. I uh, went ahead, I was doing 10 sets of 10 with 30 second intervals. Um, it was really hard to do. I've been fucking, it taking about two hours to get the fucking routine done. And with my work schedule and with my family life currently, I don't have the time to put into a schedule like that and to stay on top of it like I need to and give it the effort that I need to. So I'm jumping back. Uh, I took about a week, week and a half off, and I like to take off time in between each routine. That way I'm fully healed. I can tell if I'm sore due to that routine. Um, it just gives you a lot better information if you're not sore and you're fully recovered before you start a new routine. So I've taken the last week, week and a half off, um, and that's going to bring me back now. Uh, I'm going to currently try and cut back on the time it takes me to actually do my workout routines. Uh, it was currently, like I said, taking two to two and a half hours. Uh, I'm going to get it down to 60 to 80 minutes. Uh, I'm going to cut everything in half, basically. Uh, instead of doing 10 sets of 10, I'm going to try to stick around 5 sets of 5, but I'm going to up the fucking weight. Um, I'm going to start writing everything down and keeping track of every fucking thing meticulously. That way I know what weights I'm getting. That way we can always increase and we know if we're making gains. And, you know, that way I can keep track in a steady, progressive manner. And, you know, the information I find out, I'll feed to you, and hopefully we can both benefit from it. Um, and then from there, <coughs> so my new routine is going to be change up my exercise, the whole fucking deal. I like to shock that muscle. And I know by saying that, a lot of people, you can't shock your fucking muscle. You're not going to sneak up on it. Boom! No. Your muscle's not going to get big by sneaking up on the motherfucker. What I mean by this, if you're used to doing curls one way, and you do them that way for so long, uh, you switch up and you just like change your hand movement or something like that you're going to come at that muscle from a different angle and it's going to hit it a different way and it, I believe that's going to help build it that's my opinion and you know I I stick by it and I got a pretty good physique from doing it I'm always switching the shit up and doing different exercises and trying to hit the muscle from a different area because you know you do the same thing you get used to it but you notice if you do it one day a little different way you're all of a sudden fucking sore and that's what I mean by shocking and or surprising. You know, I try to switch up my routine constantly or my deals. So uh, I'm going to switch it back. Uh, my new one's going to be starting off Sunday. I'm going to do a full leg routine. That's going to be calves, everything. Just straight legs, so nothing else. And then Monday, I'm going to concentrate strictly on chest. And I'm going to try to do heavy on every fucking thing. Uh, I don't want to do nothing light except for my warm-up sets. And then Tuesday, I'm going to concentrate on my full back, upper and lower. And then Thursday, that's going to bring me to traps and shoulders. <coughs> and that'll leave me Friday and Saturday off. And like I said, I believe cutting it down, doing like, you know, four sets of five or five sets of five, um, it's really going to cut down the time that it takes me to do this. And I can really pump on some fucking weight and see how much we can fucking get on there. You know what I mean? Um, and that's basically going to be that for that. Um, I did take some measurements. That way I know what sizes I'm currently at and... That way when I'm done with this routine, I'm going to try to keep this routine up for at least three months. And I can go back and take the sizes again after the three months and see what progress we that's made. Because my current, my current goal is to weigh at least 210, 215, 220 would be fucking awesome. I don't see it happening right away, but it's a future goal. Um, my calves are at 15 and 3 quarters. My legs are at 24 inches. Uh, my waist is 34. Chest at 46. Ba-boom. Uh, my arms are 16 and 3 quarters, 16 and a quarter, my bad, 16 and a quarter, they do look bigger though, 16 and 3 quarters would be nice, so, um, I'm 6 foot, I weigh 190 pounds, and that's currently where we're at, for supplement wise, I take 2 scoops of 60 gram protein, which is 60 grams of protein, before my workout afterwards, and I take another 2 scoops, or scoop before I go to bed, which is 30. Uh, my current diet is I try to stick to 4,000 calories a day. Uh, I want 190 to 200 grams of that to be protein. Um, and it's pretty much a lot of it's dirty bulk. I'm, I don't eat a lot of health food like I should. Everybody knows that shit's expensive. I pretty much a family guy, so I live off fucking Roman noodles, you know, shit like that. A lot of peanut butters and fucking oatmeal. <laughs> and that's my current diet, but I do keep track and I do try to stay around 4,000 calories at least a day. And that's basically where we're at. Uh, and this is something that's going to interest you. Come watch my journey. Come watch me try to gain weight. It's all about fucking a foundation. It's all about feeling better about yourself and making a difference in a positive way. You know, if you feel good about yourself, you're going to 
you're going to give off that aura. You're going to give off goodness to everybody else. You know, if you're in a good fucking mood, everybody around you is going to be in a good mood. You know, or at least it's going to help them a little bit. So until next time, I'm Jeremy Holly. Stay fit, stay focused, stay motivated. Stay off that fucking couch.